I played the chosen one on Roblox with one goal to speedrun getting admin. Now, the speedrun would only count if I could actually keep admin without losing it. The rules are whoever has stayed in the server the longest will get admin. You can buy time and donate your time to other players. I had a plan. I was going to get my second Roblox account to join so I could donate to my main account and it would go by twice as fast. But it would take a really long time because Waffles was still way ahead of everyone else. The admin can give you the Arkin Stone, which means that you will have all the admin commands until you die. I decided to abuse this and mute everyone, and they blame someone else for it and take out punishment. I swear I didn't do it! It had been over 2,500 seconds, but I was still far from catching up to Waffles even with both of my accounts combined. Now Waffles, who was once the top admin, decided to donate all his time to Ellie. So now it was going to take a lot more time to catch up and be the top admin. While I was waiting, I decided to absolutely destroy this guy's base because the admin gave me B-Tools. Then I knocked these guys off the edge, which was pretty hilarious. After I epically spleefed Gaming Boy, he realized that I had to destroy his entire house. And he unfriended me, and I'm pretty sure he blocked me too. My house, no! But things were looking good, because Ellie, who is currently the admin, said that she would donate all her time to everyone in a game of hide and seek. We would make the hiding spots. We had 10 minutes to create the hiding spots. Now I had no idea what Gaming Boy was making, but he was my only competition, so I decided to start sabotaging him. His spot wasn't looking too good, especially since I sabotaged it a lot. I decided I was just gonna hide on a spot on the edge of the map, but honestly I didn't know where else to hide because um, I think his spot with an entire tunnel was way too obvious. I went back to sabotaging, but eventually the admin decided to eliminate me from the challenge. But it's okay, because I still had my alternate account on, and no one knew it was actually my alternate account. So my plan was to just win on the alternate account, then donate all the time to my main account. The game started, my heart was beating, but every everyone else's spot sucked, so I thought I had a pretty high chance of winning. There comes the admin. I was currently hiding on the edge of the map on my alternate account. There were now multiple people in the server playing hide and seek, and look at that, she already found someone. She went into the tunnel where Gaming Boy was hiding, and of course she found him. So I had officially won, so that, that, that would mean I had admin, right? Well, she then decided that actually, first to win three rounds would get admin. Thanks a lot. This time, whoever made the best was gonna win. So I went straight to sabotaging this guy. I knew I would get punished, but at this point, my only goal was to win on my alternate account. She randomly decided two minutes in that actually we were just going to do hide and seek again, which was really good because my build looked awful. I didn't get any footage of it, but I actually managed to win on my alternate account again. It was the last round, and we did hide and seek again. This time, I had my main account free. At this point, I really did not want to win on my main account and just on my alternate account. I could still use my main account for some slight sabotaging. I went to my opponent's spot and started writing in the chat. He's trying to push me off. The admin of course came over and caught us, so I had managed to win on my alternate account and donated all the time to my main account, so I had officially got an admin. It's a pretty garbage speedrun, but at least it's something. Subscribe.